What's going on, y'all? This is Low. This is Key, and we're Low Key. Welcome back. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to the channel. Well, welcome back if you've already viewed one of our videos. But here on this channel, we talk about self uh, growth, elevation, and above all else, creation. What have you created today? Yes. You know it's almost 1800 here where we at, mm -hmm. six o'clock, mm -hmm. you know. Whatever time it is, wherever you at around the world, hopefully you somewhere that you alive and well. Mm -hmm. Think about what you create, you know, what you plan to create. You know what I'm saying? Try to be happy to have the opportunity and the ability to create. Absolutely. Speaking of that, we talking about who following who. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that take me back to getting in the turning lane in traffic and you see a bunch of people lined up. It's two turning lanes, but everybody is in one turning lane. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like the person in front of them know where they going. But the person in front of them is following the person in front of them. <laughs> yeah. And then the person at the front of that line looking in the rear view mirror, why the hell everybody lined up behind me? Cause mm -hmm. I don't even know where I'm going. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if you following somebody, you got to make sure like that's your comrade or your individual goals is in alignment, you that's know, true. with where that individual is going. Even like in the church, like your pastor, mm -hmm. would you mind being in his shoe, his or her shoes? Is that pastor spiritually in a place where you wish to be? Are they mm -hmm. headed in that direction mm -hmm. or is it just somewhere to go? You know what I'm saying? Or is it just somebody that you could blame your lack of spirituality on because they lack of spirituality? Mm -hmm. Who's following who? Would your pastor be in church if there was no members there? So is the pastor following the congregation or is the congregation following the pastor? Absolutely. Same thing in the relationship. Whoever is the leader in a particular circumstance whether it be financially spiritually mentally emotionally mm -hmm. is that person studying in that direction are they worthy to be followed absolutely and this is continuous this is not just oh they worthy this year mm -hmm. where's the continuous growth Unless you want to stay stagnant where you at. And if the person who you look into is stagnant, then you good. Sometimes the leader can be growing too fast for an individual. That's true. And that when and that causes when two people ain't growing together. That's how relationships degrade. Yeah. What you think, babe? You're right. That's that's exactly how relationships degrade. <laughs> I do believe that if you are leading, if you are considered the leader, you should. Because a lot of times people, they're quick to point out something wrong in somebody else, but they don't even see themselves, right? So if you are a leader, then you need to lead and not look to follow. Because leaders can be followers too. They're not confident in themselves. So they look to... Blame. Yeah, and then it becomes you did it, and if you hadn't have done this, then I wouldn't have did that, or you didn't like this, and so I didn't go with it because I knew. But you knew if if we weren't emotional, you knew that that's exactly what I needed. I needed you to be firm. I needed you to, you know what I'm saying. So it's like you gotta know. Don't be thinking that you. First of all, you thinking you following somebody and you really the leader because they following you. <laughs> oh, man. Like, give an example. Like, what does that look like, though? It's like when you put two dogs 
like you got one dog right i don't know if this is a good example but i've seen this happen you have one dog in the house right mm -hmm. and that dog is the primary animal in the house right but you go get another dog and then that dog starts acting like the dog that just came in the house so he starts doing dumb stuff like like you train so why are you following this dog you should be the leader another example remember you told me about the wolf and how the wolf start acting like yep he's supposed to be the leader a leader a wolf is like considered a leader then he started to act like a dog yep being around dogs yeah so you have to know if you're a leader know that you're leading it's the prime example with men men if you're considered the leader in the house then lead don't think that well i don't know how to or you just leave it all up to the woman to do everything and then when she becomes aggressive then when she becomes too masculine then it's then it's a clash in energies so if you're a man and you're leading then lead I'm telling you, it's strong. You have to have a strong, you got to know who you are. You got to know your qualities. You got to know when to, like my grandma used to say, hold them and fold them. Like, got to know when to hold them, got to know when to fold them. Because it, because it can easily, you, you'll think that you're, you're following somebody and they, they <laughs> following you. You, they're not leading you. They're following you. You know, it's hard. It's, it's. I'm gonna get a better example of how to explain it, but that's the only thing I could think of with animals. But in a in a human, like with with us, it's like you can easily but go the other way. It's kind of like that person, that one friend. Hey, he don't know what he's doing. He ain't no, got no clue what's going on. But really, they do trying to do everything you trying to do. There you go. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Yeah. Is that a good example? Yeah, yeah. It's hard. It's hard to really clarify, but y'all know. Mm -hmm. Especially with females. What you mean? Like dressing. You got a best friend, and you and you like something. Mm -hmm. Your friend wasn't sure about what you like, but she talked junk about what you like. That's ugly. I wouldn't wear that. Da, 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 da. And then the next thing you know, she has it on. But you your own person. You your own leader. Like you you don't follow nobody, but you let her <laughs> you let her become the leader. And then you and now you gonna follow her because now you're gonna go and get the same thing when you was once the leader. It's the same it's back and forth. Yes, you can you it's can one thing by taking hints and suggestions but if you are like the leader like a basketball team that's like lebron you know what i'm saying being the leader but then they lose the game and he blames somebody else mm. when really it's always your fault man always it's always something that you could have did and deep down a real leader knows it. Absolutely. Leaders aren't perfect. But to come to that understanding. You know. And to sit in that. To mm -hmm. understand that. If you want on bullshit right there. Or over there. You know what I'm saying. Maybe the situation would never happen. That's true. A big example is on the sports field. Mm -hmm. You got so-called leaders, but then they blame everybody else as to why. <laughs> Quarterbacks on football teams blaming the rest of the team why they lost. Big grown men. Grown men. But really, it's that kind of leader, they never make it in the Hall of Fame. No. They never be respected fully. You know, it, it's obvious. Mm -hmm. So, if you're a leader... Like, be a leader, like, have integrity mm -hmm. and 
take it as a responsibility and not a trophy because it's more of a responsibility than a trophy once you start taking it as a trophy you're no longer a leader that's true you know what i'm saying you got something else babe that's it i'm low this is key i'm real low key like comment and subscribe peace